Delta Force is trying to be positioned as the replacement for DMZ, but there's a few problems. One of them is that Delta Force doesn't support controllers natively, and if you're a controller player like me, that is a bit of a problem, but don't worry because I do have a fix. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my future videos. Okay, so before we get too far into the video, you need to be playing via Steam for this to work due to Steam's accessibility features that it offers. Other platforms may also have a workaround for this, but you have to do your own testing to find out for yourself. First, you're going to need a controller, either an Xbox or PlayStation one, and in this guide I'm going to use an Xbox Elite 2 controller. Now, once you've got Delta Force downloaded on Steam, you're going to need to close Steam fully and make sure that it's not running still in Task Manager. So if it is still running, end all of the tasks. Next, you're going to need to find the Steam EXE file in the search, and then you're going to have to right click and then run as administrator, which should start Steam without it looking any different. Once Steam opens up, click on the Steam logo in the top left and select settings from the drop down menu to bring up the general settings. Select controller from the side menu, and then you should see this screen that lists a lot of different controller settings. If you're using an Xbox controller, then make sure to enable the Enable Steam input for Xbox controllers. But if you're using PlayStation controllers instead, you'll need to then enable the PlayStation controller support. Once that's done, close all those windows and then open your library of Steam games. Right click on the Delta Force game and then select Properties from the pop-up menu. You then need to select Controllers from the side menu to bring up this screen. Select the drop-down box and choose Enable Steam Input. Now what this is going to do is allow Steam to transfer input from your controller into the game as if you were using a mouse and keyboard. Make sure that all controllers are set to enabled, and I have a blue circle next to the Xbox highlighting that an Xbox controller is connected to Steam, but if you're using a PlayStation 1 then it should highlight the PlayStation 1 instead. The final part is configuring your controller layout. So click on the controller configurator link and a window should appear letting you choose what buttons control what input. So as an example, my A button emulates the spacebar for jumping, and so on. You can select predefined profiles from other people. This profile seems to be the most popular by other Steam users, so it's worth trying, but I played around with my own profile to see what I could get working on my own, and it wasn't too bad, although not perfect. Once you're ready, close the config windows and then start the Delta Force game. The controls are going to be a bit janky without native support, but overall, the game still plays pretty well. I do advise though that you default to mouse and keyboard in the menus because it turns out that you'll need to move your mouse with the thumbstick and then click with the fire trigger, which is super awkward to do. Anyway, that's how you play the Delta Force game with a controller. Please remember to share this with your friends if they also play on controller, and don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel for more FPS guides like this one. Lastly, I just want to give a big shout out to my channel members for your amazing support. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!